Hi, welcome to GodLovesOnline.com. Uh, today we're going to teach you how to add weekly Bible studies to your website. Uh, to access them, you can go to Courses, Weekly Bible Studies, which will take you to this, this page here. Um, and each time you add a Bible study, it, the latest one will show up uh, here on this page. Um, we've created one, uh, John, uh, full chapter one from Bible Gateway. Uh, let's just go ahead and add a John 2 here. <clears throat> let's scroll forward to Second John uh, Bible Gateway. We'll do a copy and a paste. Okay. Might be a little bit easier in a different browser. Okay, we're going to copy John 2. Uh, we have a post here, but we're going to go ahead. This is our first post. We're going to add a new post. Okay. Under post here on the left hand side, just click add new. Okay. <clears throat> this is going to be uh, John. Um, two full chapter. Okay, we are going to paste in uh, the text here. Um, on the opening text here, I would suggest the heading be heading three. It's more appropriate. Uh, it's in a more more appropriate size. Uh, to add an image, uh, click where you'd like to have the image to go. Um, click add media. Okay, and uh, you'll want to. So, for example, add this image here. Um, you want to align it. You can align it left or right. Okay. This one will do right. And you'll no link. And you'll want to choose medium size. Insert into post. It's going to show up on the right hand side. You want to make sure you choose weekly Bible studies. Okay. You can edit here. You can uh, choose bold, italic. You can do um, line numbers. You can align here and add links as well. Okay. We're going to go ahead and publish John chapter 2, the full chapter. We're going to go back and see what the latest Bible study, weekly Bible study page looks like. There's John chapter 2 with the excerpt and the read more button by Tommy, the date, categories, uh, and zero comments. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and click read more to see what the page looks like. Okay. I'll close that out. All right. And uh, here's the title. Now you may choose if you have this title here not to use this title. Uh, the choice is yours. So then or and or switch it. So we would cut that and we would paste it here. Then this potentially we might make a little smaller like a heading four. We'll update that again. Go back and see what that looks like. And um, <clears throat> okay, there you go. That looks a little bit better. And uh, the image probably would be. You can actually kind of alternate the images uh, back and forth. This one's on the right. Um, you know, you want to put. You can click the image and align left, just like that. Click update. And. Okay. There we go. And if it's paragraph text, it might actually look better uh, somewhere else. Like let's say, for example, um, <clears throat> let's go back to the page. Internet slow tonight. Okay, we're gonna copy this. Control C, and over here we're gonna put it, and then we're gonna right align, align right, so you can alternate images as you scroll down the page. Okay. Uh, over here is going to be your uh, weekly archive that will list here down vertically. Okay. And uh, your, obviously your translate is up here. Okay. Uh, here. And um, let's go back to our weekly Bible studies. And that's it. <clears throat> As you add a weekly Bible study, uh, it's going to get added uh, in likewise manner. Okay, let's go back to read more real quick on, on that, that each on the page before we close out here. We have the weekly Bible study. Uh, we also have the post a comment here. These comments will go to the administrator, which is you. And uh, they have to be manually um, approved uh, before they'll get added. Okay, 
You can also check the comments here and approve them there, and you also get an email notification as well. Also, this uh, uh, article could be shared on Facebook as well by clicking there. Okay, this concludes our tutorial on how to add weekly Bible studies to your website. Thanks, and have a blessed day.